journey. Um, we left Ala Dulla about 15 minutes ago, so we're heading to Sydney. We've got about another 180 kilometres to Sydney. Yeah. We left Designer Echo Tiny Homes. Yeah, we just left Grant's build site where he's building the tiny houses. And we did a little bit of an interview with him and a bit of a walkthrough with one of his display homes, the, one of the newer models. And I liked it. We just checked it, uh, the audio and the, the video basically um, in the car, and the audio was all staticky, had a uh, buzzing sound to it. Yeah. So um, I'm just testing out the different sounds between with and without the mic. Um, we do have a, what is it called, a shotgun mic? Yeah, we've got a road. A road shotgun. A shotgun mic, we'll yeah. try. But we don't have it sort of set up for the gimbal with the mobile phone, but we can use it with our other camera. In 400 metres, turn left onto Kings Highway. kilometers from home and we're almost at Grant's place in Burrell Lakes, New South Wales. Honey, you ever been to Burrell Lake? Never been here at all, ever. We've been through Batemans Bay, never been to Batemans Bay. So, what do you think of the trip so far, Lisa? It's very lot, scenic. Very scenic, lots of windy, windy, especially once you get out of the freeway and head to the coast, which we needed to do. Very windy, windy, but nice and scenic. But there doesn't seem to be a sign that says welcome to Barul Lake, I don't know.
we're gonna. He says it gets pretty muddy down there. We might might get bogged. Yeah. So, so we can go down here and park in front of the tractor shed. I guess that's his place there. Oh hell. Hi guys, Darren here, live from Tiny House headquarters with Grant from okay. Designer Echo Tiny Homes. Good to see you again. Great to have you. Thanks for having us. Long drive from Melbourne, but it was worth the trip. Um, so we're here, we thought we'd come down and visit Grant on site, to, uh, because we haven't seen him since October at the Sydney Home Show. So what's been going on? You've been busy from, since the Home Show? Yeah, really busy. So uh, as you'll see, we've got about eight Tiny Homes on the go. Yeah, because so. you've got a lot of interest at the show. Do you, do you have any idea how many people had through the place at the Sydney show? At the show, we estimate about 6,000 people went actually inside the time yeah. house. Um, but Sunday was crazy, so yeah. we had to form a line, which is a little bit out of control. Yeah. Uh, but it was, it was excellent to see the response. We yeah. love to see the tiny. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's been overwhelming. Too. Yeah. And obviously that's translated into a lot of interest leads and sales yeah. as well. Yeah, but pretty much. Yeah. Excellent. So, guys, for those of you that have seen the video that we put out at the Sydney Home Show, this tiny here was the tiny house that Grant had on display. It was, wasn't it? It, it is. was, yes. Yeah, so that was the one from Sydney. And so right next to it over here we've got this pretty great big one. Now, what's that? That's going to be your big model, isn't it? It is. We're very excited about that one. That's the biggest one that we're going to make. It's called the Lifestyle Series. And have a ground floor queen size bedroom yep. plus two double bed lofts so it can take up to six people so it's, it's essentially built for families sure. or for older people who don't want to go up the stairs or a ladder yep. but yet can still mind say the grandkids or have guests over who are younger and go up, up top so, and how long is that one going to be yeah the actual base trailer is 7.2 so that's, that's the biggest we make yeah and so you've got that one, and then you've got, if we swing around this way, but we've got the little one here, which is your, is that going to be your, it's like the smallest one? Uh, that's the first, the smallest one we have that actually has a kitchen and bathroom. So that's the smallest fully self contained Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have one small that's just a studio, just a bedroom or extra playroom, something like that. Yep. But essentially this, it's called the Independent Series, 4.8 yep. metres long in the base, and it has a kitchen, bathroom, lounge, person or a young couple mate. That's it, that's right, yeah. Excellent. All right, and uh, speaking of his smaller version yet, yeah, which is like the studio pod room, if you swing around here, you can see that Grant's got one over there, which he's using as his office at the moment. So, But as you say, Grant, it's a good idea for a an office or a studio or a sleep out, a kid's room, yeah, yeah. game room. Perfect for us, so what we need here is an office, but yeah. also people ring all the time, they're after an extra playroom for the kids or a hobby space, yeah. sewing room, a um, little bit of me time space, you yeah. know, <laughs> you know I guess, yeah. That's it. Surprising how little space you actually need. Yeah, and I think as well, people got to remember in a tiny house, every space is utilised for yeah. storage. So you'll see uh, everything has got a drawer or a cabinet, even into the seats. Yeah. All underneath the seats are drawers or fold down cabinets. Nothing is wasted. You can't afford that. So people say, oh yeah, you have to compromise with tiny homes. But not that much. I don't think no. you have to compromise that much. I no. think, honestly, if you have more things that can fit in this place, yeah. you actually probably don't need it. No, that's right. 
And you know, as I've said to on, on many occasions, the people that I've that I've spoken to that are doing this, the people that I've seen interviewed online that are doing this, the people that are actually doing it, that are actually building and actually living in a tiny house, for them, there is no compromise. It's not this option, or it's not a case of they've settled for this or it's second best. This is actually a conscious choice of what they want to do. And it's not, oh, we're poor, we can only afford to do this. It's actually a conscious decision to, to go tiny and to simplify yeah. their life. So, excellent. Now, with this one, obviously, being a smaller one, you've gone the option of, uh, what do you call this? It's kind of the first three are stairs and there's a ladder. Yeah, a little, little hybrid stair. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah storage yeah. stairs. Storage stairs is what we tell people. But yeah. um, you can continue the storage all the way up but yeah. we just want to show people the difference because this is a display model so yeah. we're just trying to show people a few different options um same with the seat and that we have here yeah. and the table we can spin it around this one yeah so if you want to have more guests and have seats come out or if you want to lay here and watch tv do some computer work yeah um you can configure it however you want or we you can actually pull this one straight out and take it outside so it's an outside um entertaining area you just put it in a pre-made hole outside and yeah. so it's, it's very very versatile this unit excellent wonderful all right and of course you've got a bathroom down the end same configuration as your your other model and uh is that a so there's an option obviously of composting toilets versus yep. regular yeah it's just it design. just depends where you're putting it if you have access to a sewer system sure. that you can connect into go with the flushing toilet if you don't we put a composting toilet in or if you're going to move it regularly you can just put a regular caravan cassette based toilet yeah sure excellent okay and plenty of storage again more storage here little fridge what sort of so do you know the size of this yeah fridge? this is a 92 liter fridge it's actually the only one that you can buy that has a separate fridge and freezer yeah. section so if you'll notice with most bar fridges the freezer is with inside the fridge yeah like a little ice box it's horrible inside. yeah it's horrible it doesn't actually work so this is the only one i've been able to source that has a separate so you can actually have legitimate ice cream yeah which is important for me yeah <laughs> it is i mean that's we had that in our caravan that we lived in for 12 months and we had you know the the caravan fridge, but inside there was a little box, yeah. a little secret freezer box, and uh, it wasn't all that practical. It was so. good for um, an ice tray. I, ice tray, that's about it, yeah. So again, plenty of pantry storage in here, and in here as well. Yeah, there's your full robe in there for your, yeah. for your suits, oh, that's you know, cool. or your clothes. Yeah. And that's it, there's this idea of, you know, c combined multifunction use. So something like this, I'd imagine, might be wardrobe slash office stuff slash some pantry items as well. I mean, you, you know, there's no rule that says you have to have one designated space and one designated room for all your clothes or all your food stuff goes, all your pantry items go into one space. There's no reason why storage can't be combined. That's right, yeah. Excellent. So this is Grant's display model. Uh, he has got one over on this shed, which we'll have a look at in a minute, which is the same, same size as the same model. Same, yep. Uh, that he's building for a client who uh, just wants sort of a basic shell and he's going to finish it off himself. So that's in the workshop, so I'll have a quick duck end of that in a moment. Yeah, this is, so, this is, the mattress is on here, Grant, this is a queen size or double size? or That's queen, queen size bed. Yeah. So this is a queen size, you guys, and you've got a good 300 mil of space on either side of the mattress. As Grant said, it can fit a king size as well. And if I'm sitting on this side of the bed, I'm five foot seven. There's still plenty of headroom. You can sit up in bed. There's plenty of room for some cabinetry down the side there if you would so desire. Skylight there. So, all in all, a very pleasant place to be. And uh, a little railing there to make sure you don't fall off in the middle of the night. And levered windows there for ventilation as well. So this is the upstairs of Grant's Independent Series. If you do want to find out more about this particular model or any of Grant's models, feel free to give him a call, let him know that we said hi, and uh, he'll help you out with all your inquiries. So guys, one of the important things to consider in a loft is ventilation, and not only that, but if there's an emergency and you need to get out ASAP, you want to have some form of exit, and there's nothing better in terms of an exit than a dirty great big window that opens up.
the continual question with the tiny house when you go up to a loft do you do a ladder do you do stairs we've just checked out grant's independent series which is over there which you'll see in another video link below uh, that has a very interesting ladder slash storage it's not really stairs it's a couple of shelves then a ladder so it's basically a ladder to get up to the loft um, i found it doable it's fine lisa didn't find it <laughs> Lisa didn't quite, quite find it so easy, but there you go. I um, struggle. Why do I struggle getting down the steps? But this a one, ladder. This one has stairs. Why do, I why do I struggle? Because of the issues that you're dealing with, my <laughs> love. But, uh, but that's the thing. Tiny houses should be designed for you and your needs and your abilities and all that sort of stuff. So if someone has arthritis, if someone has bad knees or bad hips, um, should they do a ladder? Probably not. Should they do stairs? Good idea. These are quite chunky stairs. Um, you know, some would find them a bit too uncomfortable. But and for those that wonder, what do you do if you're having a couple of beers? I haven't had a couple. I've just had the one. But he's, he's driving, guys. He's only. I just one. had the one. So going up the stairs, it's quite comfortable. Three steps. One, two, three steps. Four steps. Going to move my head a little bit. But then, by the time you get to the third step. You can hold on to the loft floor, so you don't. Do you need a rail? Mm, maybe. You <laughs> just got a beer in a hand. You don't need a rail. Mm. So. Some it's, people might. I might need a rail. One, two, three steps, hold on to the rail, and then you're happy as a pig in mud. So, the other thing I like actually about this idea is that by having big chunky stairs like this, you've got a place to put your pants on or your socks in and when you're getting dressed in the morning. You've also got a little space here and I just thought about this Lisa doesn't even know I'm going to do this right you turn around like this and you've got a place to work put your laptop there why not move the fake plant <laughs> out of the way put the laptop there you've got a desk you he said don't tell everyone it's a fake plant oh, shit. is it no it's real <laughs> it's real Grant will if it's real Grant will collect correct us but I just actually thought of this. This is a really good idea. It's a perfect office space. What do you think, Lisa? Yeah. I would have that come out. Yeah. Grab. So you'd have that. Grab. Next one. Have it come out. Yeah, have a bigger step there so you can... It doesn't fit, quite fit my bottom. Right now. I reckon that's a good idea. You can imagine sitting there, honey, with the laptop and a cup of coffee because you've got to have your coffee. You could be down there massaging my feet. I'm going to my coffee. Yeah, I, I could be. We're going to keep going. We've got another three hours to go to Sydney. Oh, that's going to be another tour. We're staying at an Airbnb in the city. Yeah, it's got a shower in the kitchen. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> uh, interesting layout. We thought it'd be a good talking point. Um, you can cook dinner and I'll have a shower. Why not? Yeah, why not? I, I would have loved to have had <laughs> that one. Chickens. When I, we almost got, got chickens at the front door. I would have loved to have uh, a small place like the one over there, which you'll see in the other video. When I was a student, it would have suited me down to the ground. I'm going to take photos of the chickens. Yeah, I'll be back. Them. We're going to find the chickens. <laughs> bye bye. We've been entrusted with locking the place up, turning all the lights off. Lisa can't quite reach these lights, which I find enormously humorous. <laughs> Give it a go. No, you're. Uh, wait, hang on, that's the mirror light. Where is it? <laughs> She's about two inches shy of the. So. If Lisa was to live in this one, we'd need a box. <laughs> it's not hard. Okay, next. Right, next. Keep in mind, you guys, these ceilings are 2.1 meters tall. No, All right. I can reach this one. 